So it's been just over two months now. How about that? So this isn't going to be a normal video where I talk about some specific issue or whatnot and the regular stuff. No, I'm just going to be talking about me and you. The fact that I've been on here for over two months talking to all of you people out there and, well, it, it's been quite an educational experience. Well, at least for me. I hope it has been for you. I won't presume. But the first thing that I have learned here is that I like doing this. I like making videos, going into this whole thing, yelling about issues, talking about this, that, and the other. It's fun. More than being fun, though, it's helping me to gain a confidence in my own materials. It's helping me to, as a writer, as someone who makes scripts, as someone who does videos, all of it, to gain a sense of confidence in my product, which is very helpful. It's helped me to have a better ability to express my ideas because I don't second-guess myself as much. This is all amazing practice for everything else that I want to do. The second thing that I have learned here, and I already did a video addressing it, but I wanted to talk about it really quickly in particular, which is the haters gonna hate point. I did a video about it and I talked about it, but I've learned that really there is no way to appease everyone and that some things you do are going to be hated. You know, people don't like my jump cuts. I'm trying to get better at them, and I think I have gotten better at not breaking as often, but jump cuts are going to be a part of this formula, at least every once in a while. That really isn't going to change. Which leads me to point three. I think I've kind of gotten a feeling for this formula I'm using and the things I'm going to talk about. I'm going to be expanding, of course, over time, doing things better and different as things go on. Everything evolves, but... This, I think, is kind of my niche now, and take that or leave it. Another thing I want to address really quick while I have you, my internet connection is pretty bad. It's come up before, but I just want to say that I will rarely be in comments. Not that I have no interest in it. It's simply that my internet connection doesn't allow me to be on YouTube that often. So something else that I have learned here, and I think it's a very important point for everyone to consider, figured I might as well make an important point while I got gotcha, you, is that you really can do whatever you want. I just jumped into this whole thing, just started doing videos, right? Just out of the blue. Here I am doing videos, and here I still am. That's the point. I've actually got subscribers. Hey, people, you're subscribing. That's awesome. That's great. Like, I just jumped into this and made it happen. You can do the same thing for many other activities. Just jump in them and give it a shot. You might suck at first, but you've got to start somewhere. If you're not doing it, you can't get better at it. In fact, you can't even know if you're good at it or not if you never do it. Which I've learned myself here with these videos, which is that I can just do things, go into them, and the worst thing that happens is I suck and they get better. Another point that I want to make here that's come from my making videos, but it goes a bit beyond all of that, is that we all need to be more aware of what we say. Like, we talk, all of us, we talk all the time, and we run our mouths and say all sorts of things, but... These things we say, even flippantly, can have great effects. People can take them in many ways, and your flippant remarks might be revelations to someone. They might be trash, you don't know. But you should be mindful of the things you say, because words are powerful. Now, to me, that point was pretty obvious. I mean, hence the channel name. I try to talk about things that feel obvious to me, but yet seem to be missed by others. I mean, look at my other videos here for the Captain Obvious effect. Control your anger. People should know that, right? They're your emotions. Control them. But I've seen people in the grips of it. You know, a point so simple as don't be afraid to fail, which to me is pretty obvious, has apparently been this great thing to people. And I'm not trying to come off here as arrogant. Like, oh, I know these great truths and they're nothing to me. But no, it's more about each of us probably realizes certain fundamental truths that other people will find to be revelations of the greatest nature. But to you is merely just, oh, of course, right? The, duh. But share those thoughts. The thing is, you don't know. This all relates back to my point about being careful of what you say and being mindful of it. But at the same time, don't be afraid to say the things that you believe in. Don't be afraid to say the things that to you seem right or obvious or true when they are contradicted in your presence or when someone seems to not know this thing. Offer it up. Maybe you are wrong, but it's better to know that by throwing it out there and finding that out than to hold on to a belief that is wrong. But what if it's right? What if you've just changed someone's entire life by your simple truism that seems so normal to you? That's happened here with me making these videos. Probably not to too many people, but I have 
heard people take my ideas into a new light and change their perspective on issues. And that, to me, is the most meaningful part of this entire exchange here, is that I have said something that has positively changed someone's entire life. And so, this is two months in, and I'm going to be here a while. So let's all see how this goes, huh? Let's see what comes out of this. Maybe it'll be interesting. Well, it'll assuredly be interesting at the very least.